all right in today's video let's talk about guild sculptures so exit there is i mean there is home sculptures for ourselves that we can put on display and also get the set effect but then with the new release of the guild content they also added guild sculptures so you guys should definitely check uh check it out if you guys haven't already do it so let's go over it today all right i'm currently in my guild hideout here so let's go to the guy the sculptor guy is right over here so we do have him sculptor hoig i think that's the name so take a look at him so we have two options here we can upgrade the crafting table to upgrade the crafting table it does require 100,000 guild coins so do keep in mind this is quite pricey but regardless uh we are not going to talk about that we're going to talk about crafting sculptors today so uh crafting sculptor you are giving six sculptors to choose from we have the the cat guild sculptor here that gives you xp increased by two percent and then uh, replacement effect after failing to repair so uh, these do uh required to repair so over time the sculptor did do get damaged over time so you do need to repair it occasionally uh the repair material is is uh composite lumber three counts soul stone fragment five counts and guild coins 1500 so this is the guild cat sculptor xp two percent it's the main buff so uh we have the goddess of freya oh spark over that's this loot as well so uh, each sculptor uh, to craft it there is current loot you can get so we do have the first one which is the composite lump actually i'll go over that later l let's go over all the sculptors first so next sculptor we have is the goddess freya guild sculptor this one is the same it's very same thing two percent xp boost so the we have next one we have the elk guild sculptor which is also two percent increase in xp from monsters after elimination so uh, you might be wondering why the heck are these three the same uh, same buff everything is the same right they don't look different but um if you were to get them to level two right here that is when another dish different buff gets added so the cat one gives you an accuracy plus two percent if you were to upgrade this cat to level two uh the this one the freya one uh gives you item accusation uh after enemy elimination by two percent very nice so then the elk one is the one that gives you night fishing level uh rare prob probability plus 10 percent so this one's super nice for fishing of course also gives you the bait retrieval rate by five percent that means that every time you go fishing there's five percent you won't you won't use up the bait now right, let's go finish up though so on below we have the steel dragon uh sculptor of course this one gives you an eight percent increase in gold the the cockatrice uh increase eight percent increase in gold as well along with the hippogriff sculptor also gives you an eight percent increase in gold so these three sculptors once you get them to level two we do have the it, uh the effect that gets added is the all elemental resist plus 10. so uh, very nice um next one we do have the cockatrice which is acquire sca uh, scramble points plus 50 percent so give you more points per scramble the jewel uh plum hippogriff which is the all ab abnormal status resist rate plus two percent pretty good this is pretty nice buff right here so all right so uh, let's go over more in depth so obviously uh the, you have to craft the level one first base and then use use these to upgrade into into these right because like i said it does it is required to you to have the level one sculptor of it in order to craft this one the much better version of it at level two so uh let's get into how to craft so obviously let's the craft sculptor here is it requires the um composite lumber ancient breath and soul stone fragment so a uh, social fragment the way to obtain this is through uh your daily guild raid so by doing guild raid daily um uh you get soul stone fragments added into your storage already or automatically you don't need to put it in so in order to craft composite lumber and ancient breath you go to here part and it'll tell you right ancient breath here needs how to craft it ancient breath needs 100 common loot composite stone 100 stone composite lumber is 100 light lumber composite metal is 100 iron ingots so same thing right you get all these other crafting stuff here as well as you can see decorated flowers very cool so very easy to craft them uh do keep in mind when you do craft it it does require 200 guild coin to craft an item so if we go here uh i only have this so honestly i'm not gonna craft it i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow because i do want to use up the common loot for it and not use up a green loot and so just keep in mind uh when, when you do craft it uh there is 200 it, it does require 200 guild coins to craft it so make sure you do have a guild coin because we've been using it quite a lot um just from crafting alone so keep that in mind all right so this is how you would 
so make sure you talk to him, Sculptor Hoeing. He has everything you need to make your sculptor, sculptor parts, uh, to modify your sculptor and your basic sculptors of crafting, right? So, so now let's get into how to uh, get these materials, right? Because this whole entire material, so you will only be able to use materials not in your bag. That's not how it works. The material that um is being used in crafting these items is actually from your guild storage. So the guild storage is located right above the pond. It's called the warehouse keeper. So if you talk to him, open guild warehouse, you can see all the items that is currently right now in your guild. As you can see here, we have all these items. Uh, there you go. Food item, of course. So oh, very nice. So every day um, you can donate up to 50 materials or items to your guild so currently um i uh i'm trying to craft the dragon sculptor of course so i'm trying to get my composite metal so so um, i'm telling all my guildmates to donate me iron ingots because that is because i need 100 of it to craft uh one composite metal so that's why so do make sure that you're telling your guildmates to donate 50 a material daily depending on what sculptor you're crafting um you're going to have to be donating that that type of material right so you can also check out, uh, you can always upgrade it. You can upgrade it, uh, donation limit plus 70, but then 15,000, that's quite a lot. Also, we have the warehouse usage storage option down here on the bottom, right? As you can see, it tells you all the items that is being donated in. We have the little claws, so very nice. Every single item that gets donated and taken out. So Kai, this is me. So what, what is being taken out means that um I am, that is what I'm using to craft. I'm using 100 iron ingots to craft a composite metal. So 100 ingot go out and one composite metal co comes in. That's like that. Then we have all these other people. I showed you all, uh, all the other people that's, do that's donating stuff. So you can keep an eye out for these guys. Making sure that everyone is donating within the guild. Also, someone donated 50 chicken legs, which is... Which is not what I want. Uh, who did it? Who did it? Is it Shabby Sticks? What is no? That's not right. Chicken refinement. Who donated fifty chicken legs? Uh whatever. Not a big deal. I'll find that guy later. Send him a message. Cause like I said, food, dude, we don't need food. Who, who donates 50 salt? So this is the thing you don't need because you can't really use food here. So it's no point in donating. Food. I mean, I mean, currently there is an option to take stuff out of the storage. So obviously you don't need it. So whoever donated these two are not helping at all. So do make sure you tell your guildmates to donate what the required materials as well and not donate food because currently uh, you don't really need food. I mean, you might need food in the future, but currently we're not focused on that. So. There's that. So that would be how to craft your guild sculptor. So again, uh, depending on what you want to go for, um, of course, there's obviously different options. So let me go over a quick overview of this one. This one, uh, accuracy is plus 2%. And I mean, that's very nice. If you're missing a lot, of course, accuracy is always good. Item acquisition rate. Um, if you're more focused on PvP, um, PvE and, and you want to get more items, this is really nice statue to have. The elk sculptor is very nice for a guild that is uh, fishing. If you're like are a fishing guild, definitely try to aim for this one as well because this is super nice for all fishers. Very good. The thunder dragon guild sculptor, which is all elemental resist plus ten. This is very nice for PVE, PVP as well. It's good for both because uh, uh, elemental resist is huge, right? So keep that in mind. So this this is probably the first statue that I'm currently going for. It's either this one or this one right because this one also gives me all abnormal status resist plus two percent this is very nice for dueling very nice for pvp and pvp as well so up to you depending on what you want and then the last one this one's actually uh very important right because because this is good for guild scramble guild scramble points plus 50 percent but then again i don't know when guild scramble is so i'm not sure but so i'm going to debate right so i'm currently not going to make any sculptors yet i'm just getting the materials to make the sculptors and i'll decide if guild scramble comes out sooner than expected i'll probably i'll make this statue because this would be super good for guild scrambles and winning it and then um, if not i can always make this and make this next right so just depends on what you're aiming for as a guild uh you want to take a look through these sculptors and craft it 
Well, so I think this would be all today. Cover everything about the Ghost Sculptors that you need to know. If you have any more questions, leave in the comments below. Uh, as always, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.